Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our legs. As usual, we are going to start with dynamic stretching in which I do the greatest stretch for 5 repetitions each side, full range of rotation, making sure we get complete mobility ready. This will also, if done, get a good amount of pace continuously as I am doing, holding a stretch not more than for 5 to 10 seconds can get your heartbeat going up slightly. If you prefer, you can do a 5 minute cardio. That's absolutely your preference, but it's not particularly necessary. You can do the dynamic stretching, then jump into your walking exercises and perform warm up sets of that particular exercise a couple of times and you're good to go. Make sure you make dynamic stretching a pre-workout routine without fail because this helps you a lot in your strength training making sure you can identify if there are any restrictions and also prime your body well. I finish off with a deep squat as usual. Always sit there for 10-20 seconds as you wish. Just feeling the stretch and then we are good to go and ready. Starting off with squats. Two sets are warm up. 10-15 to 15 repetitions. Slow and controlled repetitions. Making sure you get the bar path right, bar positioning right. I always do high bar squats. So the bar is sitting just above my trap muscles. Try to put your chest up and go as deep as possible. Sit there for a couple of seconds and then slowly come back up. I also do markings for my feet positioning so that I don't really, you know, tippy toe while taking off extreme amount of loads. Not extreme, even when the bar is loaded, I don't want to waste time checking if my positioning is right. I just do small markings on the floor, which helps me get into the same position for every repetition and every set. As you can see, I started loading the bar and perform the set as usual. Yes, I am wearing the squatting shoes or weightlifting shoes, which gives me a little bit of heel raise up to one inch. It also helps me in good amount of ankle mobility and also restricts my butt wing slightly. I have that scenario wherein if I go narrow stance, my butt wings a lot. So I take a slightly wider stance with toe open and then I squat and then I can eliminate most of the butt wing issue I have. And that's it. Once we are done with this, we move on to the next exercise wherein we push our quads to exhaustion by doing three sets of 20 repetitions leg extensions. Now I always finish off every set with lengthened partials wherein the lower part of the motion wherein you have your knees are completely bent i try to get as many repetitions as possible halfway through lift them up slightly hold it then go back so partial repetitions there every time i complete 20 repetitions then do 10 to 15 partial repetitions to get maximum amount of fatigue kicking in fatigue is basically accumulation of that lactic acid a good amount of pump because of lot of blood circulation so finishing off high your quad should be fried by now because the squats ha already has created a lot of fatigue on your body and your legs. The isolated exercises should finish them. And here you can see how well the pump was going in. So pretty much achieved what I wanted to by doing them in a controlled manner. Always remember full range of motion, controlled repetitions, holding at the lower bottom of the exercise where your muscle is most stretched gives you maximum amount of growth. Once done with these, we move on to our regular seated hamstring curls. The reason why I prefer this is because I get maximum amount of good, I would say, it's not muscle activation as such, but basically the muscle work. The, the target muscle which I want to work the most is hamstrings. And doing it on a seated hamstring curls allows me to target that muscle more optimally. I don't have a lying hamstring curl, but in my experience, the lying hamstring curl often causes a little bit of uh, lower back tightness because when I try to lift it heavy or control the weight, I start using my lower back a lot here. My back is locked in, well rested, and I can only focus on my hamstring curls. I can achieve complete uh, stretch, get the legs as straight as possible, hold there for a second, and from there, bring them down with a little bit of explosiveness and then come up as slowly as possible. Here too, I added lengthened partials. So when legs are straight and I'm done with 20 repetitions, I do partial repetitions wherein I come halfway through and do 
as many repetitions as possible to get maximum amount of pump going. And that's it. We're done. Pretty easy way to train our, lug, our legs if done in the right manner. You don't have to do much. Yes, if you prefer to, you can go ahead and do walking lunges, but I was done. My legs were on fire and I chose to finish off with the regular static stretches wherein the quad stretches, positioning or locking your ankle on a bar or a bubble or any kind of support which you prefer to and standing straight and creating that stretch in your quad muscles. Remember when you're doing static stretching, you need to hold the stretch for at least 20 to 30 seconds. More than that is not necessary. Yes, if you want, you can go ahead and hold up to a minute, but not necessary. You can instead do 20 seconds or 20, 30 seconds, one leg at a time and then repeat it again. That's more effective, I feel. We are fine. The last stretch, obviously, we are going to do is the hamstring stretch, placing our, our leg in a straight position on a high bar and then holding it off, leaning forward, pulling your toes towards your shins, exaggerates the stretch. So you can do that too. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked the workout and the workout was as effective for you as it was for me. Once again, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day. Have a great workout. Take care.